Hey everyone, today we're going to do kind of a cool video showing uh, utilization of our 110 gallon hydro seeder in the back of a UTV. Uh, this site has sort of limited access with uh, tight spaces between the cabins on this lake and some trees. So the best and fastest way instead of dragging three, 400 feet of hose back here is to set up a unit like this and spray along the lake shore. Yeah, so we get a lot of people asking, you know, what is the 110 actually useful for? And it's very common for people at cemeteries, college campuses and golf courses where again, we have very limited access, don't wanna drive a heavy truck back here and create even more ruts, which would lead to more lawn repair. So that's why we're using this today. And uh, yeah, we really hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we got our first batch applied. Job's about a third done. We expect uh, this job to take about three loads. Made pretty quick work of it here with uh, not having to drag a bunch of hose around, just driving the uh, RTV along there. So yeah, and in this job, since it's such a small area, we are just using the one inch tip. Um, that's what we always recommend for trim work, patchwork, and just small areas like this. Yep. So the 110 actually comes standard with the one inch tip. Then you have your inch and a quarter tip if you're doing more open areas. Then also your cannon tip. This is for spraying long distances. Also works well for watering, uh, which you just hydro seeded. And the 110 also comes with 150 foot hose section and then of course the swivel connection gun. And like we talked about, it works pretty nice to uh, on a smaller site like this with tight access just to drive along with the RTV. Um, other options are we have fully integrated fork pockets on our all of our hydro seeders. So like with a 110, you could carry it on a set of skid steer forks or dingo forks. Um, fits in the back of a tool cat. I mean, it's, it's very versatile, very portable, um, and you also don't have to deal with, you know, mix, mixing up a large batch and having to only mix half a tank or something like that. Yeah, perfect. Well, let's get it finished up. Keep, keep going. So we got our job wrapped up for the day. We were able to make pretty quick work of it by not having to drag a bunch of hose around and also by being able to fill from the lake. Um, we got everything covered and only took a couple hours. Yeah, and the other thing we want to point out is a lot of people ask, you know, I want to get into hydro seeding. I want to start my business. Um, as you can see, it doesn't take big equipment to do this. I mean, we're pulling a aluminum trailer behind an F-150. Uh, we have a utility vehicle with a 110 gallon hydro seeder. Um, Pretty minimal investment if you want to get started in the business, but something else to consider is you'll be able to do jobs that the bigger erosion control companies have no interest in doing. Right. You're not going to be doing 20 acres with a unit like this, but you'll also be able to do the 4,000 square foot jobs that those guys have literally no interest in doing. Right. So it really fills a niche in the market and it's a great way to start. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video today, guys. Uh, if you want to check out more information, go to our website, watch our YouTube channel. Uh, check out our Facebook page or give us a call. We'd love to help you out with anything we can.